Welcome to Mike Golden Games and welcome back to Fallout 76. Uncle Lucy and I are continuing the new Wastelanders DLC where we have to go to the foundation and speak to the new settlers, the actual human NPCs. So I hope you guys will enjoy this episode. Lucy, what do you think so far? Do you think it's a good DLC? It's all right. We'll see. Yeah, we will see. I mean, We haven't really been able to explore any of it. Exactly. So we are really just getting into it right now. So let's head inside and go speak with the new settlers. These are the more caravan-esque type of settlers, and the other faction is more raider-like, I suppose. So we're going to get in here and speak with them and see what we can actually do. Let's get inside. And in the last episode, I was just following Lucy, where it seems like uh, you have to do it solo and actually to in order to complete it so i'll just enter solo just so i can actually stay up to date with uncle lucy while we just do this together if that makes any sense he runs his you know solo and i'll run mine that way we can actually stay up to date wow. on what's going on okay i'm inside let's get down here hello guys how's it going How, how's it going vault dweller here uh hello page well uh this is a little awkward you're from uh, one what? of the local vaults, right? Of course I am. Hope you don't mind us settling in your neighborhood, because <laughs> we're already kind of here. No and problem. And if you want to kick us out, then the answer's no. <laughs> if the walls weren't already kind of a statement to that effect. Okay, uh, that's an important thing right now, is getting you inoculated against the Scorched Plague. Inoculate? This some kind of a scare tactic? No. It's real, it burns people up, makes them crazy. You haven't seen the Scorch running around here? You mean we'll those crazies with the torch skin? Those aren't just burn victims? Nope. You're saying it's from a disease? Yep. Thanks for the warning, but... You know, if I was a local on a campaign to keep people out of my neighborhood, I might say a few things, too. I'll tell you what. One of my own is a doctor, Aubrey. I sent him ahead to start up an observation camp, get the lay of things. You talk okay. to him about this. If he's convinced, then I'm convinced too. Deal? Deal. Sounds good to me. All right, I'll check with Aubrey, then you'll get inoculated. Uh, where's the camp? How many people? Uh, south of here. Aubrey and a few hunters. About five people. Five, that's it? You should definitely have more people. Assuming he agrees with you about this disease, then we'll hear you out. All right, well, let's head out then. Interesting base they got set up here. Here's the doctor's office. Is he seriously not in here? I oh. heard Paige is looking Hello. for you. Uh, yes. I don't Who's understand why we can't get a few more sunnies to do the boring jobs. All right. I'll meet you outside, Lucy. And this was down here the whole time. Crazy. All right, going up. Man, look at these sexy screenshots we've taken. <laughs> Good times, good times. Traveling to Vault 96. Eight caps, are you serious? Cost me six, but I don't care because I'm rich. I could have just waited until you fast traveled and rode along for free. That would have been funny. Would have been the smart choice, am I right? Yeah, when right. do we make the smart choice? Never. Ah, exactly. I gotta say, that was awesome with that you ran into Josh. Yeah. That, that was crazy. Yeah, exploring with Josh. Literally, Lucy ran into him. We hung out for a few hours. Never got a chance yep. to record anything, though. He kind of dropped off of the game. Oh, come on, I can't right, get up. Probably got other stuff to do. Oh, yeah. He's a busy dude. Exploring all those abandoned locations across the world. Seriously amazing content. We got, oh, we got a dead person here. Canned dog food, I'll grab that. Got a caravan over here with some dead people in it. Uh-oh. What's up? Scorchies. Ooh. Uh, how do I switch weapons again? There we go. Got my trusty lever action, which I actually bought the new... Uh, in the shop right now, there's a skin that you can buy for it, which I purchased it. I just need to equip it in the, sh the uh, workbench. Alright, 
coming up to you. Let's get that flashlight turned off there. Looks like you handled the scorch, no problem. Alright, what do we got over here? Oh, this dead person here, that's not good. Uh, perception, search under the body. Okay. The soil is soaked with blood, but you don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Okay, uh, examine the body normally. There's nothing special about the body, but you notice a trail of footprints heading northeast. Perhaps Aubrey is still alive. Okay. Got some ammunition. Oh, the workbench. I can't do that. Oh, this is a nice sleeping bag, the American flag. High powered magnet, cluster. A little full on weight capacity right now. Hold on. Um, well, you do that. Give me a oh, second. Yeah. I want to see worry, if I I'll can. Kill all the enemy. Yeah, of course. Uh, I need oil. Are you serious? Look how sexy this skin looks for it. I don't have oil, though. Don't oh, worry. It's just I'll 10 of them. It's only 10 of them? Oh, no problem. You look. got it. You got it. I'm coming. I swear I don't know why I keep you around. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming. How's it looking up there? I'm running really looking slow good. with this power armor. Hello, bud. How's it going? Aubrey. I was Stay expecting back. a woman. You with those things? Huh? No, Answer no. Me. Friendly. Uh, Paige sent me. He did? Never seen you before. You one of the locals? His ears look odd. You got a hell of a welcoming party here, you know that? Oh, they yeah. hit us out of nowhere. Screams, gunshots, the sound of Kip getting his head caved in. Ooh. God, I don't know how long I've been here. Yes. I was just hoping it was all a nightmare, you know? I understand. Uh, it's all over now, you're safe. Thanks. I am. Uh, I just needed to see a friendly face. I thought I'd be trapped here for the long haul. I don't have much to repay you. Well, I don't have anything at all, but if there's anything you need, just let me know. Uh, the Scorched carry a disease. I need to convince Paige it's dangerous. On the second thought, you might be infected. Wait, you're saying the disease made those things? What's yep. the transmission? Airborne? Direct contact? They never touch me, I swear. Uh, you can go, but I need to let Paige know this is a real threat. Uh, intelligence. I can perform a medical exam, then we'll know for sure. Uh, you don't... You want to take that chance, you might get everyone else sick. We'll go intelligence, eight. You're a doctor. I had a practice in Pennsylvania before all this. I don't have any abrasions. Cleaned all the exposed skin with whatever disinfectant I could find. Uh, truth. I'm not seeing any sense of infection. You're cleared to head home. One piece of good news. Thanks. I'll let Paige know what happened. It's one hell of a disease you got here. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see... Got some liquor bottles just laying around. No big deal. All right. I'll uh, meet you there. Just need to. All right, heading up. What did all you have to say about this disease you keep talking about? He has no idea about it. Aubrey was the only survivor who impacted me up. He should be here soon. Damn it. Looks like I'll be paying a few families a visit soon. All right. Yep. If Aubrey's behind you, so am I. I'll get the details from him when he gets back. If you need to resupply, you should give Sonny a visit. Hell, after that ordeal, if you see a free bed in the boarding house, rest up. Oh, thank For you. For now, you just hold up your end of the deal and get us that inoculation. That was, that was quite simple. The guy's not even here yet. For all he knows, we killed him. Uh -huh. And he, he's just going to go along with us? This guy is really a naive. Yep. Okay, then. Now we got to go talk to Rose, I guess. Uh, copy that. And I just keep taking on more weight, of course. 
All right, boys, we are now at Rose's camp now. We got to go upstairs. And Lucy was saying it looks like we have to redo her main quest. So we've already done that. So we'll see what we have to do. But if we do need to redo it, transponder. we'll just end the episode and just get through that because we've already done it once. Let's see. Rose, where the heck are you? Here she is. No hard feelings, right? I mean, you're alive, I'm alive. Hang on, I got a phone call. Situation. Got it. Uh, I need to... I need you to get me in touch with the Raiders. Right to the point, huh? That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. Oh, okay, sounds good. Alright, let's hear your plan. I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Right. Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get mm -hmm. it. But I need you to find his original program. Which, I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. Tell me where the memorial is, and that program's as good as found. Yeah, about that. David sorta of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He of thought course. the others would think he'd gone soft, and well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. You gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Exactly. Easy peasy. Alright, one trophy and AI programming coming up. <laughs> I knew I could count on you, and I swear this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around. Alright, Uncle Lucy is back and ready to go. For some reason he had to redo that quest, so he's got that finished, and we're good to go. Get David's trophy, so we just oh, gotta wait, go over to this. I gotta camp. fix my weapon. Ah, copy that. Alright. Alright, let's go. Man, you run quick. Oh, yeah. Hello, mate. Flap. There we go, we did. Reloading. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, behind you. Nice. That is a good weapon. You like it? Oh yeah. It's the anti-armor gauntlet. Hmm. You know, I really don't use melee weapons that often in this game. Just chasing that guy down. It can be. It can be pretty cool. Yeah. Let's get over here, clear out these scorched. Alright, it's up there. I cannot hit this guy. There we go. Reload him. Where's he at? Yeah. Oh, interesting. David's trophy. All right, let's go. David's desk. Perception. Closely examine the drawers. Find nothing interesting in the drawers themselves, but you do notice a photo taped to the underside of the desk. Oh, okay. Photo of Rosalind's memorial. Okay, let's go. Ooh, nice. You got David's trophy? Pretty yep. cool, right? Once Meg sees that, she's gonna know you need business. 
team may have been a diehard, but they all started under David. Every single one of them. Even like their moms would have killed for that trophy. Us cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. And that trophy was the biggest symbol of them all. It's nice to see it still in one piece. Hope we can say the same for Rosalind's memorial in that AI program. Okay, of course you have to go to the actual photo and examine it. Like, really? This feels unnecessary that I couldn't just do it right from there. Alright, remember our anniversary? I stole that huge stash of cams and you found that secluded spot across from Ripper Alley. We spent that entire night under the stars. I'd never seen you happier. Rest in peace, dear Rosalind, wherever you may be. Alright, All right. So there we go. I forgot to find Ripper Alley. Yep. Let's see, it looks like we should have it marked on the map already. Uh, retrieve the AI program, yeah. It's right by West Tech Research uh, Center. Yeah, right by Ripper Alley. Well, I traveled the Ripper Alley. Okay, I didn't have that. Oh, is that you? That is you. I'm right behind you. I didn't yeah, have that fast travel point. People that are shooting. Good, now we can go after well, Let me collect this fast travel point. Okay, can you give it to me already? I'm standing like right on top of it. There we go, Ripper Alley discovered. Okay. Well, there's a disease death call matriarch here. That's Ooh. handy. All right, I'm coming. Slowly, but I'm coming. Why are you so slow? I'm in power armor and I have limited AP. Oh, I think it just smelled me. Alright, I'm moving. How are you? Alright, uh, is it above me? Where is Oh, there it is. Oh boy! Reloading. Good kill. Beautiful. Take that. There we go. Alright. Uh, vent free range. Okay, not gonna do that. Roslyn's AI program and God's medics. I'll take that. Ooh, so that's where he's been hiding it. On that memorial, ain't too shabby. Especially Ooh, since it's David we're talking about here. So now, you'll have to repair that holotape, and there's only one place I can think of that. Ooh, Marksman's hard and sniper rifle here. To do it. Solomon's Pond. I know, I know. Uh, You're thinking, what's tech like that doing out in such a cutesy little wilderness place? Let's just say some seriously intrusive operations went down there, so I'm pretty sure it's got just what we need. There's Solomon's Pond. I've got Solomon's Pond. I don't. Alright. Uh, what the heck is that? Devil Bleed Floater... Okay, what the heck? Okay. I have not seen that before. I believe this is one of the... It's a level 73. That's not good. Lucy! I don't know where you're at. Uh, I'm running. I'm only level 66. I'm running down the hill. Where are you? Where are you? It is right on me. There are two of them. Okay, the one's only a 59. I don't know where you're at. I'm trying to run! What the heck is going on? Uh, where are my stims at? Okay, I got the stims there if I need it. Okay, maybe I'll use a stim. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I ain't falling into pollen. I'm coming back up there. There's power armor over here, too. It's gonna be a minute. I gotta wait ten seconds to fast travel. Okay. Okay, I'm over at the house. They're still trying to chase me. They didn't get. And I can't freaking sprint. Can I get downstairs where it's safe? Nope. Come on, come on. Oh, what the f is that? There's more of them. That's not good. Oh, there you are. I see you. I see you. I'm coming. 
Oh, the abominable yes. floater? Yup, yup, yup. Thank you. Let's uh, use some vats. Oh! Okay. Beautiful. Uh, nothing to loot from it. Okay. Oh, there's different colored ones. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, that's hurting, of course. That's hurting. Ow. Yikes. Looks good. Okay. Good kill. Now, inside the house over back here. Let's see, going down. Let's take out my axe. Got a computer here. Hollow tape repair station. Enter password. Okay, all access is restricted level five. Enter password. Apparently I don't have a password. Do you have a password? Find the password. Okay. Whoa! Behind you. Agent Kensington. Help. Lucy, help. Hang on. Beautiful. Let me right. guess. He's got the password. Probably. Uh, no, he doesn't. Well, that's not good. Where did he come okay. from? Somewhere upstairs, I'm guessing? I honestly don't know where he came from. Oh, we got an outhouse over here. It's probably in there. We got another one over here. Agent, Ken Another Agent Kensington? What the heck? Ow. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you. Damn, I'm just taking disease out. Got pre warm money. Alright, so we got an outhouse here. Terminal password right there. Okay. Orange Mentats, give me that. Alright, let's go back inside. Alright, hopefully you guys are enjoying the episode so far. We finally have some combat going on. Uh, so far it's been a little uh, lackluster with just all these dialogue and not really much going on. Here we go. Hollow tape repair. Uh, okay, confirm. Fabricating case, duplicating data, copy complete. Uh, okay, Agent Enrique Gomez. Okay. Dr. Rose. Alright, looks like that's it. Alright, let's get back and talk to Rose and continue this quest. I hope you guys are enjoying the episode so far. Seriously, hit that like button if you are enjoying it. And, you know, maybe consider subscribing if you haven't already. Alright, let's see. We've got all these dead raiders up here. Ah, Lucy, what's up? Alright, you're back. Oh, yeah. Just when I was starting to get bored, too. Hope you managed to repair that old holotape. I did. Uh, what do you think on it? What do you think is on it? Can you tell me more about David and Rosalind? Why would David block you access to some of your memory banks? Who knows? Like I said, that guy was sensitive. Not everyone needs a constant reminder of their baggage. Can you tell me more about David and Rosalind? Eh, they were into each other. David was never able to recover her body, so he made the memorial in secret. Didn't really hmm. want the others to see him all soft like that. Okay, what do you think is on it? First off, it's a whole lot of crap on David and Rosalind. I'm thinking it's like action adventure meets romantic comedy, but not a good romantic comedy, mm. you know? The kind that makes you want to puke. <laughs> Second, it's the code I need to unlock some sealed off memory banks that David didn't want me to access, but couldn't bring himself to delete. Right. Okay, oh, here's the program. So reliable. I love it. I gotta admit, I've got some pretty mixed feelings on tapping into all these blocked files. On one hand, I'm sure David had his reasons for cutting me off. On the other, I'm pretty sure this would be a whole new world of entertainment for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, plug that shit in. Uh, just scan the words you need, avoid the emotional baggage. You should take it all in. You deserve to know what he blocked. You know, you're right. I definitely deserve to know. Now, just 
overloads second. her system and explodes. Uh. Oh my god! Talk about some serious drama here. This is some depressing shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I knew David never got to say goodbye, but he really did hide what he went through. He must have loved her very much. He made you after all. I'll see charisma. You really should talk about it. What type of memories did you unlock? Ugh, like a soap opera on overdrive. You know, boring stuff that no one cares about. Uh, charisma 8. I don't have that. I uh, get the feeling you really want to talk about it. You can tell me. David was an interesting guy. He loved his wife and kids as much as he loved Rosalind. So losing them in the war wasn't easy. Rosalind helped him through that, so when he lost her, that was just about the end of the world for him. How did he move on? Uh, by creating a yours truly, of course. <laughs> oh, and blowing the shit out of the Summersville Dam. <laughs> Who doesn't love some good old-fashioned revenge, right? He never talked about any of this with you. Obviously, he talked about it with me, silly. He just didn't want me to remember, so blocked off all those memories. That's why I needed that program. To access those sealed off conversations. Right. Okay, let's move on. Okay, moving right along. Okay, now where was I? Oh yeah, the plan. Let me just run some filters. A little artsy crafts and... Are you kidding me? All this data and I don't have the one word I was looking for? <sighs> okay, hate to break it to you, but I need you to go back out there and find me just one more itty teeny witty hollow tape. Okay, what is it? Best bet is Arctos Pharma, David's old corporate stooge job. I need you to find me a hollow tape with David saying the word negotiate. Okay, copy that. I'm on it. One hollow tape coming up. Will do. Did I just say that? <laughs> it makes me feel like a mom. Hmm. 25 caps for... Oh, who's this guy? Random guy standing right next to me. Rando Calrissian. Yeah. Alright, guys. I'm going to leave this episode here because we are running a little long. We will continue this quest in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Maybe kids for subscribing if you haven't already. As well as hitting that little bell icon on the channel. That way you stay notified when the videos go up. Not sure what's going on with the texture behind me. It's all pixelated and glitchy looking. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy, guys.